You do not subdue somebody by shoving a lightning bolt up every orifice that they have. It's it's no. That's a big no no. It can work. No, Doug. You just temporarily paralyze them. Okay, right. Azu. I'm I'm going to invite you to come to my house, and we're gonna we're gonna experiment that, and we're gonna put it on social media. Okay. How's it? Oh, <laughs> oh. You hear that, Chad? He's gonna take me up on my offer. Okay. All as right. long as I'm the test subject. You you are the test subject. Fair enough. You are the test subject. I have a bath. I have some toasters. Let's get it popping. All right. I'll see you guys when I wake up from my coma in ten years. <sighs> yeah. See. <laughs> that's Again, a subdue. That's I subdued subduing. you. That's I subduing. sure you're did. Not, you're not killing someone. You're just subduing them for a bit. Okay. All right, Azu. So now we have Elegant and Korean. And I actually, I've only played Korean once in a friendly, but I didn't know that he actively participated in these. So that's kind of cool. He's still playing the Wolfen. And uh, we still got the Luigi. I actually, uh, I should ask Elegant because I posed this question not to, uh, like, on the stream. Like, are you playing anybody else? I'm curious about that. All right. Uh, this is a fun matchup. Well, we got Luigi, who experienced quite a bit of changes through uh, from Smash 4 to Ultimate here. Elegant um, still staying true to Luigi here, and Korean moving up the tier list into Wolf. Wolf, a really good character to kill early, to gimp early, uh, but also is a character who can get gimped as well. Very much so, and I'd say that he's a lot easier to two-frame than a lot of other characters because he doesn't clip, he doesn't uh, snap to the ledge with the side B. Even yeah. though good wolves will make it seem like he's snapping, like that. Well, um, he actually didn't snap the ledge, he went above the ledge a little bit, and then his animation pulled him back to the ledge. Well, yeah, I'm saying that these players can make it appear like he does if they space it properly. Yeah, and if you're, uh, if you're a wolf playing against a character with a counter, oh, that uh, was good. be careful. That was good. Very nice Cyclone. Not too bad. All right, Elegant. Just going to get hit by a, a weak Nair there. And mm. he catches him, uh, trying to get the forward smash out oh, with the grab. Underneath a platform, too. That just spells death in many different countries. OK, spacing with the fireballs. All right, short hop fireballs. Uh, good spacing tool from Elegant here. He seems kind of confident the way that he's spacing. Like he doesn't, he doesn't seem to be getting phased by the fact that he's getting pushed back. Nice. Okay, that down air. Should you be phased when that happens for you? No, absolutely not. Whatever the case, Wolf coming, uh, Korean coming back here. With Wolf trying to take the stock off. Very nice fair, just trying to catch him with the back air. Not going to be able to connect either. Mm. You know, I, I find it kind of odd that Luigi has a pretty good range on his back air, but then you look at his forward air and it's just half that. Uh, karate Chop is a good gimping tool. It's fast. Yeah, it is very fast. It also, it also throws momentum off this, pretty well. <laughs> this dude just did three jab strings in a row. Well, uh, he did pause just to make sure he knew what Korean was going to go for next. Just using it to oh. Korean, you, uh, Korean uh, air dodge there, it seems. Yeah. That's okay. We move on to game two. But yeah, um, the Elegant paused in in the middle uh, after jab one two to see what Korean's defensive option or aggressive options were. He continued to, doing, uh, continued to do it until Korean tried to fight him back yep. so he could get the full jab again. I mean, it makes sense. I mean, it's a very quick uh, startup. I mean, it's a jab. We all know what those do. And you're able to delay it. So yeah, not too bad of a strat. Oh, right. okay. Blaster off the bat. Very nice spacing with the fair there from Korean. And notice how these two players are drifting. They are making their absolute sure, unless they are going to be going for a cross-up, that they're going to keep their they're keeping their space maintained. Elegant actually uh, paused there, uh, paused on the stream there, thinking that Korean was going to air dodge back to uh, back to center stage oh. or uh, roll behind him, and that's why uh, Luigi actually turned around. Oh. That'll be going to take him. I would feel so hurt, like being the wolf player. I got a nice, sweet little cross-up, and then I just get. I, I just know, get by like that. Like, like, no. like, why are you trying to land like right next to Luigi? Honestly. <laughs> so I can get a hit? <laughs> Stop well, him? It didn't work out for uh, for Korean. Again, uh, spacing out is a big factor in the Luigi matchup, especially when you're Wolf. Oh, we. Oh, no. Okay, I understand what we were, what he was going for there. He thought Karate Chop would actually make him tech, uh, need to tech. Yeah. So that uh, air dodge into the stage I actually. Think that was a misinput attack there. I think a lot of people have uh, felt the force of that. Okay, that was a good recovery, however. Very nice. I think that was a B-reverse uh, Firewolf. Mm. Cool. 
Uh, I was expecting him to do the nair a little bit earlier. Okay. Right. Ooh, and the grab. Yeah, grab when it falls. Uh, Lu Luigi's grab falls down. It becomes its own hitbox. Yeah, at first I thought it was a command grab. Like at the very beginning of this game, I thought, oh, they really changed Luigi. No, just a regular old grab. All right, very nice. Down throw, going to nice. Cyclone, and that should kill. Wow. That almost looked like, I, I know that wasn't true, but that 